everyone. My name is Emily Wade Wilson, and I'm on the ministry team at Pleasant Valley, and I want to welcome you to Second Cup, a mini devotional series. I want to share with you a few things that have been stirring in my heart this week. I am a morning runner, and so one morning when I was coming back from my run and cooling down, I was scrolling Instagram, and I found this quote by Dave Hollis, that hit me in this raw, real, emotional space. And it's something that I've been processing over the last week. Um, that quote says, in the rush to return to normal, use this time to consider which parts of normal are worth rushing back to. It made me ask myself this question, what is God trying to teach me right now? Honestly, I don't ask myself this question very much, um, well, at least not in present tense. I tend to kind of ask myself, what did God teach me through something? So listen to the quote again. In the rush to return to normal, use this time to consider which parts of normal are worth rushing back to. That word rush, it really jumped out to me. So I wanna have some real talk with you guys. Um, I, I love to rush. Man, I rush from one thing to the next. I love to have plans. I love to make plans. I love to plan plans for other people. I often have trouble enjoying a moment because I'm already planning the next thing. I struggle to sit still, to wait around, to even be present. If every minute of every day isn't jam-packed with something, I kind of feel restless and wasteful. I, I want to say since COVID-19 shut the world down, I hadn't truly ever leaned into or processed what and who my plans are for. But I feel like God is using this unique time for me to examine my life. I can, in real time, think about all my rushing and all my planning and decide what and for whom these plans give glory. To be honest, this rushing around, it isn't for my heavenly father. It's mostly for me. It allows me to feel better about myself it allows me to be all the things. Uh, rushing around allows me to check off boxes. It allows me to receive praise from other people. Like I said, it's about me and not about him. Since my family and I have hunkered down in our home, I'm married to an extreme Enneagram 6, I have had some time to really force myself to slow down. My plans, like everyone else's plans, have come to a halt. Y'all, I didn't realize how resentful and tired I had become from rushing around. And all this unstructured time has given me the opportunity and has really allowed me to push myself to see and feel the hard things. I've been doing some heart work to gain insight by asking myself, what is God trying to teach me right now? I found a scripture in Proverbs 20 verse 5 that says, the purposes of a person's heart are deep waters, but one who has insight draws them out. All people are made in the image of God each of us is born with a unique purpose and calling, and we can discover it or we can completely miss it. The influence of the Holy Spirit in the lives of believers gives us insight into his purposes for us. We can find peace and courage when we sense confirmation of the Spirit that we are in the right place at the right time for our right designated calling. But friends, we need to be listening. And in order to be listening, dare I say, we need to be still. And 
I really feel like these last few days, weeks, I don't even know what month we're in, um, it's, it's been revealed to me that my rushing and planning, it doesn't matter one bit if it leaves me a daughter of the king, overtired, overcommitted, overscheduled, overplanned, with no time to see what he needs me to be doing for him. I don't believe that God doesn't want us to have plans, but I do believe he wants our plans to have a purpose for what he desires for our lives. And that's what I think he's teaching me right now. He's saying, quit rushing and planning and seek my purpose. By doing a few new to me things, I've been brainstorming and thinking about ways that I can um, really live in this. I've decided that I can slow down and I can wait in him. And I would really like to invite you to join me to practice some of these things. Um, you can like or comment below if you, um, if you have some ideas or if you just wanna check on me, that would be great. Um, but here are a few things that I'm thinking that I'm going to, to really try during this season. Um, I want to not be controlled by schedules, rather be controlled by the Holy Spirit. I want to say that my self-worth is not measured by check boxes, rather my self-worth is found in an accurate view of who I am in Christ Jesus. That perspective is not based on what is seen, rather perspective is based on what is unseen. It's not about the quantity of activities, <laughs> rather abiding in Christ and bearing much fruit. And also that peace is not found in perfect plans. Rather, peace is found in Jesus in the midst of any storm. Please feel free, like I said, to reach out and check on me or, or share your tips. Um, and I, I want to hear from you. Also, I want to encourage you, friends, to stay in the word. Um, I want you to, to pray and to process what God is teaching you right now. Uh, pray about what um, you will be rushing back to when life returns to normal. Um, also, wash your hands and please know that we miss you.